Welcome everyone. Hey, my name is Eugene and this is my little bitty cooking show for you to eat. And uh, I am all about whole foods, plant-based cooking. Oh, and uh, doctor's orders, no oils. I bet I got something good for you. And if you want to adopt a healthier way of eating, come on in, check it out. All right, boys and girls, look at this right here. I went to an Indian restaurant. I fell in love with the dish, found out they were sneaking in some oils on me. So I'm going to show you how to do a whole food, plant-based, no oils. Is this an authentic recipe? Probably not. Of course it's not. The original Good Ivankaya, they use the baby eggplants. I'm saving a little time and money because ain't nobody got time for that. I bought the big eggplants. So you want to make something good that's good for you. It's going to be spicy. You can adjust the heat to the way you like it. Come on in. Let's check it out. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. You can print out a recipe. Look at the link down below there on the YouTube. Got a link to my website. You can print out the recipe. I've also got links where you can buy a lot of these items that may be hard to find. You can get these things online. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Get all your goodies together. All right, here's the star of the show, eggplant. Chop the eggplant up. Nice, some nice big pieces like you see there. We're going to cover it with kosher salt. That kosher salt's going to draw out some of the bitter, uh, bitter juices in it, the moisture. It's going to firm it up where it's going to cook up nice and firm. Load it up with the salt. We're going to set that aside and let that sweat for about 15 minutes or so. All right, I'm going to use my Nutribullet blender thing here. We're going to toss in the peanuts, the sesame, and all the spices you see right there. Throw them all in there. Give it a good blitz. You just want to break up the peanuts to the size you like there. Get your pan out. Throw you some parchment paper in it. Dump your spices out. Get them nice and even. Throw them in your preheated oven. Check it after 10 minutes. When it starts to brown up a little bit, get nice and fragrant. You're ready to go. If after 10 minutes it's not really smelling good, give it a couple of minutes more. What you don't want to do is burn it, all right? So watch it there. Okay, let's go ahead and get the fire going. Let's get our pan preheated here. We're going to chop up some garlic. Let's grate a big piece of ginger with the microplane. Get you a big fat onion. Put a nice chop on it. Throw all that stuff in the pan. Let's start heating it up. We're going to saute it. We're not going to use fat or oil. We're going to use veggie broth just a little bit at a time. Keep adding some here. I used about almost a cup here to, to saute and sweat this stuff up. I'm going to add four dried red chiles in there. Get your kitchen shears out. Chop it up. Okay, this is a nice sprig of curry leaf. Leaves. Give that a good chop. Throw it in there. Throw in your teaspoon of mustard seeds. Remember, add veggie broth as you need it. Okay, one great big heaping spoon of miso paste. And I'm using that for the sodium in it. Doc Grieger tells me when I use uh, miso paste, the sodium uh, won't hurt my blood pressure so much as it does uh, in other ways. Something about the fermented soy. Okay, two big spoons of tamarind paste. That's going to give it a nice uh, nice little bite to it, make it nice and tart. Two spoons of garam masala spice. Going to make it ever so good. All right, rinse off your eggplant. Get it good and rinsed off. Get rid of that salt. Throw your eggplant in there. Give everything a good stir. We want to start heating up that eggplant. Two cans of Diced tomatoes. I'm using fire roasted tomatoes. Put whatever you got, whatever you like in there. Give everything a good stir. Let's add in those spices. And if you want, you can finish it on your stove top, cover it up, let it simmer for a good 30, 40 minutes, or pop it in your 375 degree oven. Give it a stir every 10 minutes. And after 30, 35 minutes, it's going to be looking something just like this. And there you go, boys and girls. Take a look at that. Oh, that looks so good. All right, so check the link down below. I'll have a printable recipe for you. Some of the hard to find ingredients, I'll show you where you can buy them. This is so good. Hey, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Y'all come back now. And hey, I'm back. There's going to be a lot more whole foods, plant-based. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Bye now. Mmm. Mm 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 m